My name is Paul Fai, and today I'm at the small organ of the National City Christian Church here in Washington, D.C. And I've showcased the large one earlier, which is uh, massive and amazing, but this large one actually allows you to play this smaller instrument uh, as well. But it's also playable uh, from upstairs, and I just wanted to show you that and show you these stops because I didn't include them in the other demonstration. So, Let's start with the great manual and the principle of the great manual. And this sounds like this. Octave four foot. Super octave. Mixture. Actually, it's a burden to uh, add to this to give it some foundation. And let's add the quint as well. So we've got a very bright and uh, shiny plano. Then we've got a gemson, which is a string voice. It's actually got a celeste stop, which uh, makes the sound float. Which is very beautiful. I would also like to uh, combine this with the Gedeckt. by itself it sounds like this very German in sound if I'm allowed to say that the gedeckt forefoot with the uh, gedeckt eight foot it sounds like this Also, it's a flute, two foot. Which is very strong, actually. So the eight and two foot flute sounds like this. Very nice as well, though. That's a sesquialtera which works with the Gedeckt, as well as with the principles. And add some overtones to the overall sound. Then we've got a Zimbelstern, something like this. Very nice. And we've got the handbells. So we've got these doors here, which are opening. And then we can activate the Handbells stop, and it sounds like this. It's wonderful. You can actually see these these bells moving, which is very nice. You can also close the doors. I play them like this. Very beautiful. So that's the great manual. Uh, we've got the trompet and shemad, which is directly above us, which is very loud, sounding like this. So it uh, shines uh, very brightly in the room. And if you combine all of these, um, you get a sound like this. So 
very nice and bright piano. I left the trumpet away because it's, yeah. You can just hear the trumpet. <laughs> well, uh, but it's very fun to play. So we've got a tremolant for this division. And let's check out the principles with the tremolant, like this. Very nice, the Gemson and Gedeckt. The Gedeckt 8 and 4. Nice. And let's try the sesquialtera. Makes a nice solo stop as well. So we've got the chance to use the uh, chancel organ, at least uh, some of the stops of the chancel organ, which includes the Untersatz uh, 32 foot in the pedal. Uh, the northern chimes in the pedal, sorry. Oh, let's point them. Okay. Then they don't work up here, but at least downstairs they work. We've got another cymbal stern, which doesn't work either. Interesting. The doppel flute. Which could do a nice solo. The Howland tuba. Nice. And the festival trumpet. Also very nice. So as a solo, this uh, chancel division is uh, pretty useful if you get to um, play the stops listed. <laughs> so um, let's check out this well. The swell starts with a gems horn. Then there's a gems horn of Celeste as well. And this actually is a swell which uh, is able to be closed. Very nice, we've got a Rohrflöte. Rohrflöte by itself sounds like this. Very nice as well. This is Spitzprinzipal. Uh, the Sp Spitzoktav. If we combine all of these to a Plano. Sounds like this. There's a Klein Octave, uh, one foot. And a Larigo. There's a Chalmay. And the other trumpets, which I'll just show you later. I've got quite a uh, strong uh, swell division as well. So, the Shalmai by itself sounds like this. Very nice, especially with the tremolant. Did you hear one? At least I didn't hear it once. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe it's not working, but that's fine. Uh, well, so the Shalmai, we've got a trumpet. A 
Gerade Clairon vorführt. Und der Contra Trumpet 16 Foot. Combined, they sound like this. And of course, we have the option to play the trumpet on Chamat. Here as well. So it uh, makes it a solo manual, so to say. I mean, we can actually try to combine all of the stops of the grate, uh, couple that to the pedal, and use the trumpet as a solo stop, uh, like I did earlier. It should work pretty well. <laughs> works uh, fairly well. Um, well, then we can check out the pedal, which actually features a 32 foot, which is impressive for such a small instrument. I mean, downstairs there's a huge one, but um, it's uh, impressive nonetheless. So let's check out the pedal, the uh, Borden 16 foot. Then we've got a principal 16 foot. A quint, which uh, makes the 16 foot a 32 foot actually, sounding like this. It's pretty effective and works fairly well. There's a war flute uh, 8 foot, an octave 8 foot. A gedeckt forefoot, and Kowalbas forefoot. Oh, sorry. Uh, then we've got a contra trumpet, sixteen foot, a claron forefoot. A trumpet cornet 32 foot, which is very special. So you see, it actually has the uh, upper octave as a reed. And then, if you combine all of these stops, you will hear that it uh, makes sense to have the cornet there. If I add all the other read stops as well, it makes even more sense. It's a nice thing to have. And then we've got the uh, enchamade in the pedal as well, which is incredibly loud. So all of these combined are basically pretty strong. I'll leave, yeah, okay, I will use the trumpet, let's see. But it's a pedal division of that one. Well, after hearing this uh, pretty impressive pedal section, we all want to hear what the organ sounds like. If we pull out all of these uh, little stops, except the chamade, I will add them later, don't worry. But um, it uh, overshines the organ completely, so uh, it wouldn't make sense to pull them right away. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's pull out all of this, and this, and this, and this. I put all the couplers in, and then we should be uh, good to go. I will activate the Zimbelstern, and then we can start. <laughs> That's very cool. You could actually uh, remove the uh, coupler at a trumpet up here to use it as a solo, and then just go from here. So um, 
well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will add the trumpet now, and we will see what we can get. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>